Hello Unity fans, I was in Poland for a few days so there was no video for this time but today we can continue with part 9 of the mega game with Unity series in which I show how to play a death animation when an enemy is hit. Unfortunately the free Toon Soldiers asset doesn't come with a death animation but it wasn't a problem at all to import the FPX into Blender and to create a death animation on my own. When I finish this series I will create a video in which I will explain in detail on how to do this. But until then we just happy that we have this animation and that we can use it in Unity. To do this I export the animation by choosing File, Export, FBX. Then I select Armature, Mesh and Selected Objects. And I export it directly into a folder of my Unity project. And here we can see the animation which I define here as a humanoid animation type. Now I open the animator of the soldier and just drag this die animation into this window. Then I add a trigger for which this animation should be executed and I call it die. The source of the transition I create here is any state because it doesn't matter in which state the animator controller for the enemy is when the enemy is hit the die animation should be played in any case. After that I create a transition from the die state back again to the idle state. Yes, the soldier will come back again after he died. Now let's open the crosshair script where we call destroy when the enemy was hit in the previous tutorial, but we don't want it to be destroyed. What I do instead is to get the parent object to which the soldier script is attached. I get the soldier class by using the method get component and I call a method named hit for this script. The method doesn't exist yet, but the refactoring functionalities of Visual Studio are intelligent enough to generate this method for us. Then I switch to the implementation of this hit method. They are called the die trigger of the animator and then I invoke the move downwards method of the soldier after let's say half a second to bring the enemy down. I want this guy to kind of resurrect and to reappear at the same position like before. So I store the position in 3D space after creating the soldier. And when activate is called for him by the enemy controller, I reset this position because the Y position is reduced in an eye tween animation. And it could be that the value isn't counted down fully when the activate is called again. Okay, I think that's it. Now let me check if I set the trigger condition in the animator. No, my fault. So I'm doing this now and add the die trigger condition to the transition. Alright, so let's hit the play button and start the game and check if this works. Hey, great animation. Simple, but exactly what I was going for. And the guys have to reappear till a certain time for a level is up. So what will be the next steps? We have to add the time for a level that is counting down, add damage to the player, add a head up display to show the player's health and ammo will be fun. So guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you find it useful and if you do please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss the next part. Thanks for watching this, thanks for your support and come back soon to JNM.